Find 518 plus 327. Use place value. First, add the hundreds. Then, add the tens. Then, add the ones. How many hundreds, tens, and ones are in 518? How many hundreds, tens, and ones are in 327? There are five hundreds, one ten, and eight ones in 518. There are three hundreds, two tens, and seven ones in 327. First, find the partial sums. What are partial sums? Partial sums are the sum of the hundreds, the sum of the tens, and the sum of the ones. You find them by adding hundreds to hundreds, tens to tens, and ones to ones. 500 plus 300 equals 800. 10 plus 20 equals 30. 8 plus 7 equals 15. The partial sums are 800, 30, and 15. Next, add the partial sums to find the sum. 800 plus 30 plus 15 equals 845. So 518 plus 327 equals 845. Why does adding the partial sums help you find the total sum? Both add ends are made up of hundreds, tens, and ones. So when you add the sums of the hundreds, tens, and ones, you find the sum of all the parts of the add ends. Using partial sums makes adding big numbers easier. You can write out the addition like this. What do you notice about the way the digits are in columns? The digits are lined up by place value, hundreds, tens, and ones. Why is it important to keep the hundreds, tens, and ones in columns? When the digits are lined up in columns, it makes it easy to keep track of the value of the digits and find the partial sums. Now you know how to add using partial sums.